Well, it is 619 right now, and it's about to go down in downtown Cleveland because there is some glitz and glamour with the Cleveland Film Festival starts today. And that industry is really growing in Northeast Ohio. Community reporter Lauren Wilson is here with us this morning. Uh, Lauren, there's a plan for even more films to be shot here. Good morning, guys. Yeah, expanding the possibilities. That's what Cleveland's Film Commission President Ivan Schwartz told me he's trying to do, pushing legislation for a bigger tax credit, taking our town from being known more for manufacturing to movie making. We need to diversify our economy here. Uh, there's no reason we can't have the creative arts where it's an art form that actually creates huge amounts of jobs. Now, since 2010, 13 states have completely scrapped their film credits, saying they're not worth taxpayer dollars. But here in Cleveland, Swartz and other advocates say it's making our city better. And now a bill is trying to get more than double the current $40 million credit, which means more Hollywood productions in town. And in turn, they'll use more local vendors like hotels and caterers and even local filmmakers. Now, while this creates excitement around Cleveland's booming film scene, some independent filmmakers like Stephen J. Davis say they're afraid to be left in the dust. It's tough now for the average local filmmaker to get their projects going because um, the film commission or whoever, they're really trying to focus on, on the bigger projects. Now, Stefan has had films in the past debut at the film festival that's going on right now. But right now, the legislation for the tax credit is making its way through the Ohio State House. For the E-Team, I'm Lauren Wilson.